morning. morning. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I was invited to attend the high school play this past week. And I was amazed at how talented our young kids are. And also, I'm so proud to say that many of them are part of our parishes. God gives his sons and daughters talents. We should use those talents to unify our communities. We live in a world full of chaos, division, anger, selfishness. And sitting there watching the kids, I start thinking about the reason God sent us his lovely son, our Lord Jesus Christ. It was so dear to me that God wants us to be together, united with him, so that we are not scared, waiting for the end. We cannot live in fear. As we prepare for that day, it will come, there is no doubt. When? Good question. We don't know, but certainly it will come. And we must be ready. Therefore, every day is an opportunity for each one of us to enjoy those gifts and share them with our loved ones, with those we are challenged by, even with people we don't know, just like the kids did while performing in the play. We must also learn to respect and accept our differences. We don't have to agree with everything, or our neighbor always, or our family members think or say. But we must respect what we may have is the chance to understand that person's perspective, which will help us to stay united in harmony with our loving God and His will. Brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ unite us. Unite us as the universal church in every Eucharist. When He shared His body and His blood with us, so let us live as a true community of peace. And let us pray as we prepare ourselves for the final encounter with God. Amen.